All right, we'll go ahead and uh, finish this up. So I just want to go through a few things, things that we learned, things that um, everybody's asked about uh, throughout the day, or not everybody, but a few folks. So first things, the recordings will be posted. In fact, I think Evan had already gotten started on that, so they might be up there. There's a B-Sides Iowa YouTube channel. There's a bunch of talks from 2015 up there, and then we'll post up there. I'll email everybody. Um, if you're registered, I've got your email address. I'll tweet it uh, if you follow B-Sides IA, and I will post a link on our website um, along with the, the talks. Uh, T-shirts. We have like 88 extra, so take, take two or three, because uh, most of them don't fit me. <laughs> Lessons learned. So we, uh, this is the first time that I think any of us has really given on a conference, right? First off, six gallons of coffee sounds like a lot. It is absolutely not. Uh, more liquid, so we do apologize. We, we went out and got some more waters, and they got burned too fast, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll work on that for next year. And then the, the last one, so... Uh, our attorney said, you know, you, you should probably get invent insurance even though you don't have to. So I went ahead and did it uh, because, you know, uh, listening to your lawyer is always a great idea. And then, lo and behold, it was a really good thing we had it. For those who missed Nick's uh, USB Gallagher talk, uh, the first laptop smoked <laughs> when he plugged it in. And so they did a field trip outside and, we, <laughs> and they smoked the other one. <laughs> so, well, we did have a fire extinguisher, so that was really good. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention this morning, uh, so the, the Sands Institute and um, KPMG, which Ken Johnson worked for, uh, have a uh, scholarship program now uh, as part of the DFIR track for college students. Um, and there's the link. It's really hard, but if you just Google Ken Johnson DFIR scholarship, it'll show up. Um, cool things. It's got two DFIR classes, which are wicked expensive if you've ever seen them. Sands classes are fantastic, uh, but they're kind of spendy. Um, the other thing that's really cool about this, there are two instructors that will mentor the person that gets uh, accepted for the sponsorship, this scholarship, uh, and I believe they're doing it every year. The deadline for this year is June 1st, so I know there's a bunch of college students that have registered, um, so make sure you check that out because that's a, that's a really cool deal that they're doing uh, to, to get people interested in, in uh, forensics. Organizers, I wanted to thank everybody that, that helped organize. Um, this is a list. Uh, I think I got everybody. Um, I kind of went through our Slack channel and just threw out names, but I think I got everybody. I know there's probably more that worked on the CTF. Maybe you can talk to that when you get up here, but um, it, was, it was really nice uh, having folks to bounce ideas off of, help scout venues, um, you know, tell me I'm doing it wrong uh, or tell me that we need to do this instead, which was awesome. And uh, Brandon had a lot of really good ideas, like we got challenge coins for the CTF winners. And uh, so that was great. So I appreciate all you guys' help. Uh, the volunteers we had, so uh, Jessica and Savannah Johnson were running the registration booth. Mark was in here running the video, and John was in the other room running the video. Um, and, I, and Evan's on here too, he, he volunteered, um, and he's actually doing all the rendering of the videos and brought all his gear up here, flew up from, from Atlanta last night. So we really appreciate uh, those guys and, and their help. They helped set up, run all the you know, power and everything that we had in different places. And then I know there's a whole group that did the, the CTF. Special thanks to all the speakers. Um, without speakers, it'd be a pretty boring conference because uh, I can't talk that long. So uh, special thanks to everybody who came in, stuck in town, submitted talks. It was great. I, I saw uh, bits and pieces of almost every talk, and they were all just fantastic. So I got a lot of watching to do, I guess, when I get home. Thanks to the attendees. I mentioned we had 177 registered. We uh, ended the day with 112 um, show up. Um, those are those are great numbers. Uh, we'll, we'll keep. You know, getting better. We'll, uh, we'll, um, we're trying to get. I think we want to go over 200, maybe three, 400 attendees. We want to get this kind of big. Um, we think we can get good to draw. We had people from Kansas City. We had folks from Truman, uh, which is in Kirksville, Missouri. We had people from Minnesota. I saw. We had some folks from Omaha. So we had a pretty good draw. So it was pretty impressive. Uh, one thing I forgot to thank this morning, but we want to thank Grandview University. They uh, gave us uh, this facility for a pretty low price, and that was fantastic. And and uh, what they did for meals, did I, the meals seemed to work out really, really well, and it kept me from having to go uh, find a caterer and get food in here, which like, I, I joked at lunch, if I would have got a caterer for 180 people and then 112 were here, I would've, everybody would have got a doggy bag to go home with them. <laughs> a t-shirt and a doggy bag. <laughs> so, besides Iowa 2018, uh, I'm definitely ready in for it. I'm, I'm guessing these guys are. It sounded like there was a lot of fun on the CTF room too, so 
Um, we'll have some dates to follow. We'll probably do it around the same time. Uh, we want to make sure that we don't squash the, the ISU CDC that was this with the high school CDC was this weekend. Um, we also want to try and not squash next weekend's ThoughtCon and, you know, kind of everything going on. So we'll bounce around. It'll be around the same time. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Keep your calendars located. Again, last one, thanks to our sponsors. Um, without them, of course, we couldn't have afforded any of this. After party, uh, another shout out. We are doing an after party. Threat Connect has uh, come forward with uh, some funding for that. There's the address. Uh, it looks like it's pretty simple. I think you just go back down to 235, take 335 over to 73rd Street, and then uh, up to University Avenue, and then just, just right there off 73rd and University. So it's, it's pretty close. I think my, my GPS said it was like a 16 minute drive. So it's pretty, pretty close. So thanks to Threat Connect for, uh, for that. You, I got the thing if you want me to bring up the board. Sweet, so uh, this is the first year for B-Size Iowa, Iowa running a CTF. So there's a city sec here, sec DSAM. I'm sure you guys are sick and tired of hearing that. But uh, so we kind of got together to uh, put on that, the, the, the CTF. So I'm just gonna do the top three. And we'll start at the bottom. Uh, was third place was the B team. Uh, so if the B team could come out, give you a, so thanks guys. You can see So the B team, uh, so there were 41 challenges for a total of 10,950 points. So B team working as an individual, uh, it's kind of an interesting name. Um, uh, got, uh, it's an inside joke between us and Casey's, by the way. Oh, nice. So uh, they got 3,950 points. So uh, very good. Uh, second place, uh, Shenan Investigator or one equals one. <laughs> awesome. So applause. So second place, we're gonna give a, a voucher to No Stars Press for an ebook, of course, 50 bucks. So uh, he got uh, second place at uh, 4,900 points even. Uh, so out of 10,000, so doing pretty good. And then uh, first place was D's Knops. <laughs> first place, come on up, come on up. We got some good stuff. So Thank I'll you. let you guys fight over this voucher as well. It <laughs> <laughs> was a good fight. So first place, so first place, we're actually doing a lifetime subscription to 2600 Quarterly Magazine as well. So uh, duke it out. Let me know later tonight. Um, so the way that we're, I'll, I'll explain whoever, whoever gets that, but there's one. So uh, there you go. Uh, give a round of applause for all these guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sweet. So... Uh, the CTF was quite, so this was uh, the first time that SecDSM had ever worked together to actually put on a CTF. And this is something that I think we can all, uh, that I, I speak for everyone that says, we want to do this again. Uh, so we look forward to doing the CTF next year, um, as well as at other conferences as well. Um, it was quite a, uh, we, I think we all underestimated the amount of effort that it would take to put it together. Um, there was some categories that did really well. So like the SDR category was probably my favorite category, right? So this is sucking bits over the airwaves and trying to decode what it is. There were very, uh, there were a lot of challenges still left in that category. So uh, we're gonna double down on that effort probably next year. So get really good at SDR if you wanna win the CTF. Um, and uh, yeah, other than that, uh, th there was a whole crew of people. So like Tom Paul, and Jake from ISU is up there. Yeah, Nick Stark, I mean, uh, I'm Ben Schmidt, who's not here anymore, um, and Nate Subra, who got deployed, um, all worked together to put this on. I feel like I'm forgetting someone else. Uh, Arlen. Arlen, thank you. Doing the Lockpick, hey, uh, they did, uh, I don't know, Lockpick Village, I don't see Arden. Um, uh, putting together all that let's get physical stuff. That was the last minute thing for him. He really took that over. Um, I hope you guys all got an opportunity to go over there. We had, uh, how many teams here, man? Way more than what I thought we would. 22 total teams, of which 15 scored some points. And that person, the lowest scored points was 600 points. That's awesome, right? That's like four that's challenges. All locks, that's it. All locks. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome, right? So uh, I'm really glad that, that that was so successful. So we're looking forward to it again next year. Again, thank you guys very much for coming out to B Size on Honeyback. We'll be great. Thank you.
Free books. So everybody got a raffle ticket. We got some ebooks vouchers that are good for any ebook worth up to fifty dollars. And thanks to those folks that are DRM free. So let's use it up wrong for a crowd like this. Um, we got uh, we have uh, volume one of Hacker Script. Um, the guys that wrote this actually gave me two copies when I ordered them, and he said, "Yeah, just give one to a friend. I've been hanging on to it because uh, I don't have any friends." So I'll get away here. And then there's uh, Car Hackers Handbook, Game Hacking, Physical Forensic Imaging, Black Hat Python, and Python Crash Course. So I'll just draw out a number um, and just come up and pick out whatever you want until we're out of these. And this could take a while since we got a few people that have bailed. So, but I think we'll just have to read the last. Uh, I'll just read the last four numbers. Nine five seven one. God, we got one on the first hit. <laughs> I figured it'd be like 30 into these before we got one. 9569. We didn't lose as many people as I thought. <laughs> this <laughs> go to Vegas. 9676. Wow, we didn't lose as many people as I thought. Nine five seven two. Yes. <laughs> you could have written every one of these. I don't know why you're reading them. Car hack. Don't get the car hacking book. That's the last thing you need. <laughs> Earlier, Tom was in there doing the ISU CDC over VPN, and he was like picking on these little high school kids. So I can just imagine. High school kid gets a new car. <laughs> it stalls on the way to the CDC next year. <laughs> yeah, what happened? That team sucks. <laughs> 9659. Wow. 614. One of those. I think there's just a code on the bottom, so when you go to order, just put the code in. 9616. Oh, that was a long hey. <laughs> 622. There it is. 9615. 9617. 9618. <laughs> Bigger numbers. 9620. <laughs> oh man, 9619. I just grabbed a new handful. 9609. Six five five. There we go. Nine six four two. That was lower. Let's <laughs> just subtract eleven. Nine six seven four.
<laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. So last thing, thanks again for sponsors. Thanks for everybody coming out. Uh, it was a lot of fun. So hope to see everybody at the after party. Have some good beer. What's that? Wednesday after party.